Hey everybody, so finally at long last, Operation Harsh Doorstop has its Steam release and I know lots of you are downloading it, but what I also know is that lots of you want to play mods and run those mods with bots, so I'm going to show you how it's done on the new version of OHD. So, first things first, let's come to the Operation Harsh Doorstop.com webpage, which is here. And this is where we're going to grab our mods. Now, you're going to be able to grab mods from all sorts of places in future, but I just happen to be doing this at the moment. And when that changes, I'll probably publish a list somewhere of where you can get mods from. But anyway, I'm going to download this one here, the Desert Compound map. So you click on that and you would download the file. Now, normally what they usually do here, the modders will say what you need to do to launch it, but they seem to have forgotten. So I've downloaded this already, as you can see. I've got the zipped file. So where does that need to go? Well, let's get rid of this. So how do we install it? Well, come back to Steam, go to the Operation Harsh Doorstop page, click the little management cog here, select Properties, go to Local Files, Browse, and here we are inside Harsh Doorstop. Click on the Harsh Doorstop folder. Now, if you haven't got a Mods folder, you're going to have to create it. Just do a right click, create new folder, call it Mods. I've done that already, as you can see. So I'll click down here. Okay, and here are some of the mods I've installed already. So to install that mod that we downloaded, all you've got to do is extract it here. And I'll do that right now. So Desert Compound, extract to this path. There we go, boom, sorted. I'm using WinRAR because it's my favorite extraction software, but you can use whatever you like. Anyway, we've done that. So let's get rid of this because we don't need it anymore. Right, so. And we'll also move this out of the way because that's pretty much mods installed, but we'll come back to this later. So I'm going to move this out of the way and we'll just launch the game. Right, here we are. So as you can see, I've already been messing around with backgrounds and whatever. Right, so to launch the game, oh, actually, let's just have a quick look at multiplayer. As you can see, here's where you jump into multiplayer. There's not many people on at the moment. And if we go to single player, You'll see that the default is actually, well, 16 players, but this only goes up to a maximum of 64, I believe. If I put in 100, actually. 100 bots here. Yeah, it only says 64, although you can get around that, and I'll show you how. Right, so now I actually want to play that modded map. So first things first, hit the console key, which is the tilde. Yeah, I'll hit that twice, actually. Right, and now we want to open the map, so we would do open. But we don't actually know what the name is because it wasn't on the website. Now, a lot of them are called things like AAS underscore with a name, blah, 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 map. But in this case, because we don't know, I took a wild guess. It was called Desert Compound. So I'll just click on it again. Do a little right click here, rename. I'm just going to grab that copy and I'll get rid of this. Right, and then we'll go back here. Can I do anything? Oh, no, I should just to do that. There you go. Open Desert Compound, and then I'll do a return. There we go, and it's installed, actually. There we go. As you can see, we'll just jump in. Deploy, there we go. Now, one thing you might notice, because this is a bug I've seen, sometimes you'll launch a mod, but you won't, you won't be able to do anything. You won't even see the gun or your arms. So you're best off restarting the game, but here we are. And here we are in the Desert Compound map. So that was pretty easy. Now, let's bring in some bots. So what we need to do, actually you can do a default, which would be the following. That's console key again. And we would add bots, add, no. Add bots. And then just put in any old number, I think 20. Didn't leave a space. It's important to write the right thing. There we go. Now, I put in 20, but what you'll notice is, I'll get rid of this actually just to show you. There's only like 16 bots. That's kind of the default. So let's change that. So to get more bots, we'll do the following. Console again. Let's get rid of that. And we'll put in this command here. Net min players override 100. And then we'll also do the same again for max players. Okay. Actually, I'll change that to 100 as well, as you can see. So 
those are the two commands you want. They define the maximum minimum amount of bots that you will have on your server that you've launched. Okay, we'll do that. And this means I can now add up to 100 bots. So if I do add bots again, add bots number, and we'll do, I don't know, let's just say 50 for argument's sake. There we go. And the w Actually, let's come away from there. The weird thing is, there's no real limit to the amount of bots you can actually have, and I'll just show you what I mean, because if I bring this up again, I actually added, or I tried to add about a thousand bots earlier, and uh, it does slow your machine down. Actually, let's do that right now. If I just to do this, add bots number, let's just say 900. Oh, I keep mistyping stuff today. Always the way when you're trying to make a video. 900. There you go. Look at your PC is absolutely chugging. You can hardly move now. Wow. That is oh so slow. If I was to press on the tab, we can scroll down and see how many we've got. Although it makes everything super super slow. Let's try and grab this, go down. God, yeah. So whatever you do, don't do that unless you're you've got a supercomputer at home. Right. And to basically fix this. Hit console again, and then we would just open this map again. So if I was to do this, open desert compound, like so. There we go, we're back in again. Just jump in, got our gun. Ah, and this is the bug I was telling you about. You will see this quite often. So, best thing to do is the following, which is just exit out of the game. Stop it. Confirm. Hit play. You do get that quite a bit. Hit escape. And then it goes through player. And again, well, actually, Instead of just launching a mod, because I've shown you that, I'll just show you what to do here on one of the defaults. As you can see, the defaults uh, can only go up to a maximum of 64. So for example, now I'm gonna go into the Monte Cassino map. We'll go start. Right, here we are in the Monte Cassino map and we've got like a, I don't know how many players we've got. How many do we have here? Actually, let's just pick that, just jump in quickly. Spawn in, deploy. All right, so it's defaulted to 16 aside. It doesn't seem to count you as one of the 16, so that's like a 32 player map, and you're an extra. Anyway, so you want more? Let's do that. Same as before. Let's go uh, net min players override 100. net dot max players override 100 and then we'll just do add bots and we'll actually we'll just do 50 we know when i kill our machine again oh i did add blue four bots there you go that's the command you want add bots with the number 50. I see one of them. Look. there you go so we now have more than the 64 players that we were told we could have as a max. So as you can see, it's pretty easy to add new maps and extra bots. Anyway guys, that's it. Click on the next video.